Happy 10th birthday, Nintendo Wii! <laughs> Hello, Internet Allies. So, today is the 29th of December 2016, exactly 10 years to the day when I got my Nintendo Wii. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of my favourite memories from my Nintendo Wii and why it's my favourite console ever and well, how it's helped me through quite a tough time in my life. So here we go! So my first memory of my Nintendo Wii was Christmas 2006. Like, I registered my interest in the Nintendo Wii quite late so I, unfortunately I couldn't get one for Christmas because they were so sought after, like they were the most sought after thing like that Christmas and I've never actually seen like a games console so sought after in my lifetime which I find quite incredible really to be honest so I had to be put on this waiting list for an Nintendo Wii and then like a few days after Christmas you know this day 10 years ago um, I received a phone call saying that they had a Nintendo Wii ready in my local game shop and I was absolutely so super excited about it I saved some Saved some money from like car boot sales and I also had some spare Christmas money left over so so I rushed down to the game shop and got my Nintendo Wii and I got Wii Sports with it, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Rayman Raving Rabbids I think. Those are my first three Wii games. Like I had fun with all three of them and I've got like really good nostalgic memories of all three games. So for Wii Sports I loved the music, I loved you know that I could play it with my family and everything. I just remember my auntie just got kind of getting really close to the um, close to the screen when it was a boxing match and she was like die die die. <laughs> Legend of Zelda I remember like I always had to have like somebody in the room with me because I found like the cave bits quite scary like where the, you have like all the bats and the like Venus flytraps trying to kill you and everything and Raymond Raven and Rabbids I just found quite fun and quite funny really to be honest it was sort of like it was sort of like what minions were like 10 years ago I suppose before I had my Nintendo Wii like I didn't really play a lot of Nintendo games I played a couple of like Mario games and a couple of Pokemon games like on the handheld devices such as like the DS the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy but other than that, I've never. I, it was like my first proper Nintendo home console. I think before the Wii, I was more of a PlayStation person. You know, I was like playing all the Crash Bandicoot games, like Spyro. You know, all those like all the Sonic games as well. Yeah, like I learned a lot about like Nintendo themselves from the Nintendo Wii because you could also download older Nintendo games and you could also play GameCube games on. Nintendo Wii as well like you know I remember playing like Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64 I think yeah the Pokemon Snap as well <laughs> you know there's quite a lot of things there's even Pac-Man as well like and you know you could even do Sega Mega Drive so you could get the old Sonic games as well which was amazing I did really enjoy playing the older retro Nintendo games because you know just there's still a lot of nostalgia through that even though even though the Nintendo Wii was like introducing me to those games some of my favorite Nintendo Wii games were Mario Kart Wii. Like I know some people don't rate this game as much as the other Mario Karts but this is actually my favourite Mario Kart game. I know some people don't really like the motion controls but like I just like that like sometimes because some, some of my family they don't really know how to drift in Mario Kart so so, so yeah so like you've got automatic controls so that like, do the drifting for you which you know is easy for my family to play and stuff like that who aren't necessarily gamers. Super Smash Bros Brawl, now I was absolutely obsessed with this game and I remember like um, the Super Smash Bros website like had like daily updates for this game and I was just really excited about like each daily update I mean I remember getting super excited when Sonic was in this game as well you know and I really enjoyed like playing like Super Smash Bros Melee before playing this game Wii Sports Resort which you know was was a very like summery feel I love the frisbee game, I love the table tennis I love the basketball, like you know lots of good games you know kind of expands on the Wii Sports universe which I really love. Super Mario Galaxy now you know like when I saw the trailer for this game like you know I was absolutely amazed you know it's kind of made me like look at this game and I was like oh my god look at what the Wii can do what look at what the Mario universe can do sort of thing you know Mario running around all these planets getting chased by lava all this kind of stuff I thought it was absolutely incredible. The GameCube games like I really loved you know I love Super Smash Bros Melee I loved you know, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, I love Mario Kart Double Dash and even to this day like I still occasionally play Nintendo Wii games and GameCube games on my Nintendo Wii. It's still a lot of fun to play like sometimes even if I when I have friends around you know sometimes we'll get the Nintendo Wii out. A couple of videos ago like I was playing Wii Sports with my friend Josh and sometimes with some of my other friends like we play 
you know, we party on Super Smash Bros. You know, it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It just brings people together, whether you're a gamer or not. So shortly after getting my Nintendo Wii, I also subscribed to the official Nintendo magazine as well. And I was so gutted, like, that, I don't know whether it was last year or the year before, like, that, like, this magazine stopped kind of publishing, and I was really sad because nothing's really filled the void, and, you know, I enjoyed reading this magazine so much, it's just got so many interesting interviews, reviews, it told you about all the latest Nintendo releases that are both present and future, and it also kind of reflected on, like, Nintendo's past as well, and it was just such a great magazine, it's got, and it had such great writers. By the way, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver are my favourite Pokemon games ever. So this is just an example of one I picked up earlier, like, you know, I've got absolutely loads. Good times, good, good times, despite having my Nintendo Wii and despite having quite a nice Christmas. I was going through quite a rough time, like, especially with, like, high school, like, you know, I was really struggling to, you know, settle in with high school and stuff like that. Um, and also I wasn't really getting on very well with my sister as much as I do now because you know, she wasn't really in a very happy relationship with somebody. But I'm just so glad that, like, now me and my sister get on so, so well now, probably better than ever. And I just hope that nothing, like, in the future ruins that. And I suppose because I was struggling so much at high school, I didn't really have any friends, like, at the time I got my Nintendo Wii, which, you know, it was quite sad because, you know, I always wanted, like, at that time to, you know, have friends to play video games with and stuff like that. So, you know, my Nintendo Wii was sort of like my friend when I had none, really. For at least a few years, I even wrote my Nintendo Wii birthday cards, you know. Shortly after the Christmas, I had my Nintendo Wii, and when I had to go back to school after the Christmas, I had my Nintendo Wii. I had what I could only describe the worst day of my life. I had permission to leave school early that day for something, and, like, I heard a really threatening voice shouting at me not to leave the school, and I was really, really terrified. It turned my so much, I had to dash home, and I just dashed home crying and I remember like I couldn't leave the house for like at least two weeks like not even for school and not even for anything I remember for at least six months after that incident like I remember like I didn't want to go into school at all because I was so mentally distressed I think mental distress like can be a reason why children may not want to go to school now, I think it's important to you know try your best to go into school and make make children feel as welcome and as safe as possible which is something I never really felt with my school. I had like um, a lot of counselling, you know, homeschooling and looking at other schools during that time. Eventually I managed to set foot in the school again and like do mornings and stuff like that and I can do certain lessons but I think from that point I never really got into doing full-time education like at high school. I mean, things only really started getting better when I went to college. One of the main reasons my Nintendo Wii helped me, like, a lot through that difficult time was because, you know, it was a sort of, like, escape from, like, all the stress that my reality was bringing to me at that point. You know, all these bright and colourful worlds, you know, bright and colourful characters. You know, it just made me feel like, you know, it didn't make me feel so alone. I just loved the Nintendo Wii that much because, you know, and I'm still very grateful for my, to my Nintendo Wii and for having a Nintendo Wii to this day. You know, it was just such fun and, you know, it's just nice when, like, you know, a games console can, you can play with, like, friends and family who aren't necessarily gamers. I mean, I remember, like, a lot of my friends and peers, like, you know, from school and everything, they were all, like, into their Xbox, but to be honest, like, a lot of those games on the Xbox didn't really appeal to me and I feel like the most important thing about games consoles is, is the games themselves. So even though the Wii may seem a little bit retro now, it still remains my favourite games console ever for the reasons I've stated in this video. I am super excited about Nintendo's future now and I'm super excited about the Nintendo Switch. Like I know it's only just past Christmas but I already know what I want for my birthday next year because the Nintendo Switch comes out in March and my birthday is in April so you know that's what I want for my birthday. Thanks very much for watching this video guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Please wish my Nintendo Wii a happy 10th birthday, as I have done with this video. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please give it a like and a share. And if you want to see more videos from me in the future, in 2017, like both maybe playing the Wii or otherwise, please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.